just another quick video about Virtual DDA 2021 and the latest re release, which is build 6156 and the docking echo effect that's in there, the new feature. And I this is a follow-up video of a video I did a week ago about this uh, docking effect, uh, docking echo effect, uh, and what it does. So just to summarize it really, really, really shortly, uh, this is the docking echo. I can press this to get a little bit more info on it. So what it does is that it does echo out whenever you shut off the music, shut off your music, basically. So I play it. It works on the crossfader like this. And it works on the channel fader. And it works on the play pause button. And it works on the Q button. So that's nice. But uh, then I got a, a few questions. I said, well, how would you actually do this in real life while you're kind of busy mixing? So setting this kind of on the fly and even maybe if you're using a controller to do it. So this is a short follow-up video showing how I, 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 I plan to do that when, when there's actually geeks happening again. So what I've done is that I've uh, created a new pad page called Ducking Echo. I've just selected. And if I go into that one, by editing it here. I'll just move this for a little while. You can see that I've put something on all the pads, all 16 of them. And what it is that it's, I actually made one that's, that's called short, one beat, one that's called standard, one beat, one that's called long, one beat, and then sisters of these three, which is short, half a beat, sh standard, half a beat, and long half a beat. And then I've had some one, uh, one, two over here is a little bit weird. That's standard quarter beat and standard three fourth of a beat. So what do they do? Well, they basically just turn docking echo on and off. We can take the first one. And then it sets, sets these four to different values. And as you can see on the first eight ones here, that just sets the two first values and if we put this back up here, you can see that's actually feedback, which is what I call length, and length, <laughs> which is what I call beats. So short is actually for the short feedback, standard is for the standard feedback, which is 80%, and long is for the long feedback, which is 90%, because if you put in 100, uh, it'll go on forever. And uh, then uh, it just changes the length between one beat and half a beat on the f first six ones here and it's a quarter of a beat and three quarter of a beat uh, on the last two ones here. And then it just keeps these at 50% and 0% uh, on all of them. That's basically what it does. Then it has shift values down here. So what does the shift values do? Well, they do exactly the same as the other one, except that they put in a little bit of, of color uh, and a little bit of reverb. And color in this is actually is actually filter that's high pass filter. So it goes a little bit high pass filter and a little bit of reverb. And of course, this is just my ideas of, of the values. You can put it in anything you want. Um, but let's just test these one. This is what what I've made. So let's do a couple of, a couple of them here. So uh, I'll just keep this one so we can follow along and see what the buttons actually do. Right now, it turned on off, which you can also see because it's up here. But the standard one which is feedback 80, length one, is this button. So if I press bu that button, you can see it didn't change down here, but it was turned on. So now I have um, this standard one, like that. And I can turn it off simply by all the buttons are toggles, so here. And it also turns out off up here, so you can actually see it. So all the buttons are toggles on and off, uh, and if you click another one, except the one that you already set, it'll take over, so it automatically turns off first one like that so that was the standard one and for all the rest of the tests i'll just use the q function uh, to trigger the ducking echo so let's listen to some of them so that was the standard one like this i'll play again so it's the shorter one so it the feedback is shorter so it's to the longer one so the feedback is longer, like that. 
and then uh, take the one that's half as long because it's only half a beat so like this so the first one and the one that has a shorter feedback and still half a beat like that and the longer feedback still half a beat like that and then the crazy ones so if I uh, push the one that's a quarter of a beat and try again I'll get something like this and actually works better if you press Q multiple times to do kind of an effect like this something like that and then the, the, the three quarter one down here and that's even Croatia so that'll be something like this and again something like that uh, someone uh, on Facebook said well that was maybe something kind of a, a reggae feel kind of thing you could use that for I have no idea I don't DJ a lot of a reggae to be honest with you guys so uh, then there was all the the ones that added extra stuff I'll just do uh, one or two of them so if I uh, I right click this one the standard one it's the same as before except that it's it gets also gets color and reverb so it'll be like like that and we just do one other one the long half beat one have to right click it and it also get color and reverb so it'll be like like that and turning it off again and then there was the matter of uh, of using a controller i've actually attached the controller right now so down uh, down in my lap here i have my uh, my good old tj tj 400 so it does exactly the same thing because now this pad page has been selected so if i press the pads down here on the uh, it'll start selecting all these effects or length of the docking effect and again if I press the first one to get short one beat and press it one more time it toggles it off uh, because it's all our toggles and it of course works nicely with the Q button right next to it so I can go like that and then someone asked if it would be a, a good idea to use it to, uh, to actually mix with this stuff. And yes, it would. Then uh, you probably need to, uh, and you of course need two, two songs that goes together. So yes, one new song, yeah. And I'll load another song on deck B the same uh, same BPM so that I can just do a regular mix using just let it start so down the B and I've already turn on the docking echo I can do the regular one this one for instance and I'll do a regular mix And I'll get the echo out, docking echo out, we do it again, so you can better hear it. I'll turn down the second deck so it's easier to hear. So you can actually hear it's doing the, the docking echo, doing the mix. Like that. Bring in the second track. No and use docking echo like that and it continues I just do it one more time and then bring them down the second track fast so you can hear the docking echoes happening 
like this. So now they're both playing. I'm going like. Bring the second one again. Like that. So yeah, it's actually really, really easy to use to mix two tracks. So that's a bit more info about the docking echo and a pad page that I created to uh, have ready access to all these. And of course, if I press shift now to get the, the second layer, if you will, you can actually see uh, that, that it says CR in the end, which is my short for color and reverb. So if I press a button now, I get one of those and you can see now it changed the color and reverb a little bit. So it actually works even better, this pad page with a controller like this TGTI 400. And uh, so that's basically uh, it as a follow up to the Ducking Echo. And of course, I will include a link in the video description to this uh, pad page. So you don't need to, to mess with it yourself. But as I said, it's just a, a bunch of values that I've added. Of course, it has four values um, on each button. And just mess with all these values till you find something that you like.